As part of their training before deployment, monitors from the OSCE Special Monitoring Mission to Ukraine, or SMM, undergo a series of simulation exercises to prepare them for the various situations they may have to face while on duty. Instructors ensure that the simulation is as realistic as possible. Well, former policeman, what are you yeah. doing? The SMM was deployed following a request to the OSCE by the Ukrainian government and was agreed by all 57 OSCE participating states. The monitors are unarmed, international civilians. Their tasks include gathering information and reporting on the security situation, reporting facts in response to specific incidents, monitoring respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms, and facilitating dialogue between the sides in the conflict. The monitors operate under the principles of impartiality and transparency and report their observations on a daily basis to the OSCE and its participating states. Before joining the SMM, each monitor undergoes an induction course. Since SMM monitors are experienced professionals, the purpose of the course is to refresh their skills gained in other international missions. This one-week intensive training course is run by the Austrian Armed Forces and takes place at its international training centre close to Vienna. Classes are followed by practical exercises. Monitors take part in simulations of real-life situations. They go through various scenarios in order to be prepared for anything that might happen during their mission. The exercises are demanding, forcing the monitors to think on their feet. The monitors gain experience and training in mine awareness, first aid, negotiation skills, monitoring procedures, and media communication as well as how to act when faced with hostile forces. The final exercise on the last day brings together all the skills the monitors have been working on during the week. After completing the training, monitors set off for Ukraine for additional intensive training by SMM specialists and then for eventual deployment to the field.